Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about really easy hair hacks that anyone can add into their hair care routine. So if you'd like to see the personal ways that I keep my hair looking the way that it is, then please keep watching. So the first hack I have for you guys is for frizz free hair. I definitely suffer from this quite a lot. I get really frizzy hair on my kind of like parting area. And what I like to do is I get like a kabuki brush and spray that with some hairspray and flatten my hair down. This is such a easy way to kind of flatten your hair without using your hands and things like that. And it gives a really nice sleek look. Using a sulfate free shampoo is so important for anyone with coloured hair. So this is the new L'Oreal Elvive Low Shampoo which is a gentle cleansing cream that doesn't foam up when you use it and it's a gentler way to wash your hair. So I use around 10 to 15 pumps in my hair as my hair is quite thick and long and then I massage it into my scalp and my ends with a little bit of water. Then what I do after that is around 3 minutes later I rinse it out and it's super super easy to use. It feels like a conditioner which is kind of weird but it makes my hair feel really clean and so soft. I use it every other wash to give my hair a break from sulfates and some TLC. I personally noticed a big difference in my hair colour staying fresher for longer and I think it's so important to stop stripping your coloured hair and start low shampooing. The next hack is definitely something that I have been guilty of. So this is to towel dry your hair with a t-shirt rather than a towel. What we don't realize is the towels that we have in our like bathrooms are very, very rough and these can really roughen up the hairs and they can actually make your hair quite frizzy. So what instead you should do is towel dry your hair with a t-shirt. This is so much more smoother on your hair and it's not gonna break it and it's gonna keep it looking a lot silkier and like frizz free as well. If anyone out there wants to make their hair look thicker, then this is the perfect illusion. I know there are times sometimes where I like tie my hair up, especially in like a sleek pony. I feel like my hairline looks not very full. So what you want to do is grab an eyeshadow, which is the closest to your hair color, and basically just fill in your hairline. And this is going to make a massive difference, especially if you've not got as thick hair as me. Um, but it's just going to give the illusion that your hair's a lot thicker than it is. And I love this little trick and it's it's so easy to add into your like hair care routine. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of these bobby pin tricks, but some of you might not have and they are super life-changing, I kid you not. So a lot of the times you'll put a normal bobby pin into your hair and you'll feel like it's not really staying and it keeps sliding out and it's just being really annoying. So this is generally how a lot of people put their bobby clips in their hair, but you're actually supposed to do it with the groove down. So what I like to do is I like to actually give it some extra strength by putting some hairspray on it. And then I clip this into my hair with the grippy side to my scalp and this is going to add kind of like a grip for the hair and it's going to last a lot longer. One other thing you can do is add another bobby clip into that in the same way but crisscrossing the two bobby pins and this is going to give it that extra staying power. Sometimes you might feel like it's day two hair and I feel like I need a bit of oomph in my hair, especially when it comes to the scent of it. So what you want to do is you want to grab your hairbrush, spray your favorite perfume into it and then just brush your hair out. And this is basically going to act as like a DIY hair perfume. And I know there are a lot of these out on the market, but this is just like a cheaper alternative using things that you already have at home. And then your hair can smell just as nice as you do. <laughs> Here is some hacks to show you how to get a voluminous ponytail. So usually when I I do a ponytail I will just gather all of my hair up into one big ponytail and just tie that all away and whenever I do do this I feel like my hair just looks really loopy and sad it doesn't really stay up and it's kind of loose from the kind of like root of it so I like to get a crocodile clip like this, preferably use one which is the same color as your hair, but I like to half my ponytail and put that into the middle section and then I flick all of my hair back over it. And this really gives your ponytail that extra oomph. But if you guys don't have that grip kind of thing, then there is something else that you can do, which is basically every kind of ponytail that I make. So I grab half of my hair first and create kind of like a half ponytail. And I make sure that this is really nice and tight. And then I gather the rest of my hair up into that. And then I tie that away. And this really strengthens my ponytail. It gives it that extra kind of lift and volume to it without having to stick anything in there. So this is definitely something that I do every single time. And you guys should definitely try it out as well. So one of the main things that I am such a proud believer in is your hair is what you eat. I mean there are so many hair vitamins and things like that on the market when in actual fact the best vitamins you're going to get is in fruit and vegetables. So always try and make sure you're getting enough and fruit veggies into your diet and you'll definitely notice a difference in your hair. 
The next two hair hacks are things that I do when I am going to sleep. So this is the perfect way to create heatless waves. Sometimes when I go to sleep, I'll want to put all my hair up into a ponytail and that's where I'm just going to get a kink and it's just not going to look the next day. So what I like to do is I like to put a French braid into my hair. It doesn't have to be neat. It just needs to be something that's going to keep all of your hair away from your face and it's just going to give it a really nice wavy look to it the next morning. One other thing I love doing is I love sleeping with silk pillow covers and this is something that I've introduced into my kind of daily routine over the past few months basically normal pillow covers are quite rough on not only your skin but also your hair so try switching that up with a silk pillow sheet and you'll notice a massive difference not only in your hair but also your skin so this is a bit of a two-in-one for you guys so the last hair hack that I have for you guys is a hair hack that I like doing to get really quick curls in your hair especially if you've got long or thick hair like me so what you want is you want a ponytail and you want to basically grab the sections of your hair and just curl them away and that's basically it I have a full in-depth kind of tutorial on this exact kind of quick way to do hair and I will leave a link to it in the info box below but basically it's nothing fancy you just want to kind of curl every single section in your hair and make sure that everything is done because the last thing you want is like leaving out a strand of hair because that would not be a good look but once you're done with curling all of the sections I like to give it a quick hairspray and then all you got to do is you've just got to take your hair bubbles out of your hair and you are left with a really beautiful wavy effortless looking hair and it's super fast as well so this is the end of my hair hacks video guys I really hope you guys enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you did and share your hair hacks below with everyone else in the comments and i'll see you all soon bye